should yeah, because we do have to we do have to close the show. Yeah, if we don't show. know these well, details, right. the lies it's, can it's, come it's, in it's easily. Clear, it's clear that your position is that um, there were no violations and that there was this huge staff uh, sitting there counting votes, perhaps something similar to the predictions and and within two hours, remarkable. predictions mm -hmm. similar maybe to the On predictions that we, see, we, don't have we see in the United States. This and is not true that, is that after two possible. hours the votes uh, were we counted are and now 16 hours. It took 16 hours. I'm going to allow you to briefly make that point, but I want somebody to answer that question. the public, the public in the United States, and that's why they have the backing. I want somebody to answer the question, what is the difference between Mosavi and Ahmadinejad? Make your last point, and then I want you to answer that question for us. Ahmadinejad? It is, it my, in my opinion, it is now, at this point today in Iran, irrelevant, the differences between not, Mosavi. Not to irrelevant. Me, not it is to irrelevant. You, but no, for, not for the, the Iranian thought, people. The, it, it's to me, not because irrelevant. it began in no, Iran about... It we began in Iran this. as an election, and it began as a protest to an election. What has happened since is reprehensible and unforgivable, what has happened to the young people in Iran, to the people who have taken to the streets, and it is now a human rights question. Tell those question. leaders who call them to then the streets. Then you can tell them as well, but there is an injustice happening, and if you want to and be... And they if should there be is prosecuted. That is, Mr. Then Musavi is, should be prosecuted. And who did Musa? That is absolutely... If you think about who is in the streets, the videos that we have seen, the people that we have seen, if there is a clean election, why can there be no questioning of a process within the government? I am not interested at all in any outside influence. Some of these people have come from California with... These big are amount of money to, to distribute in this country exactly. who are That's now what happened going in to make a move because you are not supporting the young people of Iran who are taking to the streets, who are fighting for whatever they Those have determined is their right. Those 10 million people who, are, they who were came not on the street, they are not on the side of Musavi because Musavi wants to have a close connection oh, with well. imperialism. We don't. We Musavi want, we was do part not. of the same revolution know, that Ahmadinejad you know was. Side? was telling us, don't Ab relate Musabi to the Palestinians because we don't want to be identified with untrue. Arabs. Musabi don't relate stands with Palestine. To the, that's absolutely what exactly true. what they were saying. Uh, don't absolutely. relate to the Arabs absolutely because we don't want to be uh, looking like Arabs. Absolutely we are French, untrue. you know. We are Americans and we don't want to be... That is they hate Arabs. That is a they generational hate, falsehood that I am Turks. sorry that you have they to continue hate, with. They hate all absolutely. the people around the Afghanis. They say, why Iran is giving money to the Palestinians? And there's clearly, there's definitely a class issue, I think. That and that, that class issue is currently exists in the diaspora like, more I, than exists I, within the, in the borders of Iran. And, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to, unfortunately, close the show. I, apparently, we need a lot more time to hash these issues out. What you, both of you seem to agree about is that there is a class issue involved. We haven't gotten to the heart of the, the differences. You've, you've said that Musavi, Musavi, uh, Musavi is more closely aligned um, to or more inclined to have imperialistic or globalization issues. And Mahdi's for you, it's no longer relevant, whether it's Musavi and Ahmadinejad, there are these young people that are being taken in prison and it's a human rights issue. And I hope that between the two camps, we can resolve both the human rights issue and keeping the stability of Iran. I thank you both, Mahdi's and Ardashir, for your passionate debate with us tonight and for sharing your thoughts and your expertise on the matter. And thanks to all of you for staying with us. Uh, the bottom line, is that our guests may not agree on the details of the Iranian elections, nor on how the protesters should be treated or from where they come. What they do have in common is a strong belief that regardless of what happens in Iran vis-a-vis -vis the elections and the protests, they, like I, I'm sure the majority of the Iranian population believe that it is not the business of any state, certainly not the U.S. or Israelis, to intervene in Iranian affairs, not directly or indirectly. In our last couple of shows, we discussed U.S. support for Egypt when people were much more abusively treated in response to what was a clear election fraud and continued support for repression against the Egyptian people by the U.S.-funded Mubarak government. No matter how many times U.S. media plays scenes of Iranian protests, the world outside the U.S. sees a clear contradiction in that. I too see the contradiction and support the right of any people to freely choose their form of government and to protest it, and therefore to choose their lifestyle and their liberties. While I am supportive of the Iranian government's decision to, to protest its uh, land and it, its, its people, to protect its land and its people from imperialist forces and its right to run its country as it chooses, I do hope that the people of Iran are treated cautiously during this critical time. 
My name is Lamis Deek, and thank you for joining us. We hope that you'll keep joining us and participating here with us on the bottom line. We want to hear your thoughts, um, not just on our programming today, but on our programming in the future. حابينكم تشاركونا بالعربي أو بالإنجليزي حتى وحنا مش معكم. You can email us anytime at the bar at bottomline at dandana.tv. شكرا والسلام عليكم.